Good morning folks. I, uh, I'm working by myself today, so uh, we're going to get into some creative stuff uh, to make sure uh, we don't uh, don't overwork ourselves. So what we have today here is these three maple trees. We've got this one, this one, there's another smaller one on the side of it. Um, they're not huge. I don't know, probably not even 40 foot tall or something. Maybe. Actually, that one looks like an oak maybe even. I don't know. Either way, a couple different trees in here. Hey guys, I just want to let you know, I'm so sorry for blinding you with the sun. I'm sure I've done it multiple times throughout the video, so uh, just bear with me. I think there's some interesting stuff in the video that makes it worth your time to watch. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. But, um, so the road is about 25, 30 yards away over there, and because I'm by myself, I couldn't bring my tractor to help uh, move all the material over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down. Um, and then I've got a block on this big oak tree over here. And the rope stretched out. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down. Tie the rope onto the butt of the tree. And then use the truck and drive down the road in the other direction. Or not the other direction, but drive down the road where we can drive the truck. And... Uh, use a truck to pull these trees over to the road. So, I'm thinking it's gonna work out pretty good. I'm thinking it's definitely gonna save me a lot of trips back and forth because I don't know if these trees are, you know, somewhere between 12 and 16 inch in diameter. That's a lot of walking I don't wanna do. And uh, so, we're gonna see if we can save ourselves a bit. So the ground is still frozen because it was cold below freezing last night and uh, we're just getting into early March. So the ground temperature in general is still pretty, pretty cold. So all it takes is a little bit of time below freezing and kapow, we've got a nice, nice hard surface to work on. Um, we're kind of in a customer's backyard, so they're not super concerned about turf damage. I mean, obviously we'll do the best we can to preserve things, but um, I think this is a great opportunity. And, and honestly, because I was able to do it by myself, I was able to save the customer a little bit of money, you know? So all in all, it should work out really good. So we'll, uh, we'll bring you along and uh, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, we got it all tied up here. We got it tied onto the butt. We got the rope running all the way through the block here on the tree. I left the block offset from the tree with a fairly long uh, sling there, just so that way <clears throat> we don't drag that other tree too close to this one. Uh, it's a nice tree, I don't want to damage it. Uh, and then we got it coming down here to the hitch on the truck, tied on with a uh, Pulling on a bite, my favorite knot. Latch that down. And, uh, oh, that's the sun, sorry about that. We'll latch that down and we'll give her a tug. Alrighty, so it swung out of the brush there, the, the underbrush there, kind of nice. Now we're here, but I saw from the truck that it's gonna just start plowing ground here if we're not careful. So I'm probably gonna reposition rope a little closer to the butt and I might might make a cut on there just to make it a little more more yard friendly. It does, it's, I mean the butt's halfway there already. Doesn't have far to go, but just wanna keep from tearing things up.
Alrighty, that actually went pretty smoothly. The only hiccup we had was uh, that road sign there, um, right there. He uh, he got in the way of the rope, <clears throat> so I was just a little, little miss. Uh, I just didn't see that when I got started. So we had to stop and move the rope to the other side of the sign, and we could continue pulling. But uh, that cut I made on there really helped out the yard. Very few signs of drag marks, mostly from the brush. It looks like. So, eh, it's not perfect. I see some marks there on the other side, but still, I, I can't complain. I mean, I just saved, you know, how much effort in, in dragging stuff, and uh, I'll save a lot of effort. So, I think what I'm going to do now is we're still, you know, a couple five yards or something from the road. So, what I'm probably going to do now is come back here, hook up the truck really close to it, and just drag it straight towards the road and maybe down the road just a wee bit, just to get things get things closer so uh yeah we'll go ahead and go do that all right i got you in the truck this time so hoping you'll be able to see what's going on so i'm just hoping for the tree just come around closer to the road here get the whole tree <clears throat> let's see if i can talk here it uh it didn't get the butt any closer to the road but i'd say the majority of the mass of the tree is indeed closer so um we'll settle for that um i was hoping to kind of get two trees over here you know at one time so i didn't have to do all this fud fiddling around with moving the truck back and forth in front of the chipper um but it looks like that's not going to work out which is okay you know that's can't win them all um, so I'll go ahead and, and put the truck in front of Chipper and uh, cut this up and we'll get it chipped up and then we'll treat the process um, with that oak tree, which is just a wee bit bigger. So um, we'll see. We might even kind of tip that this direction and might might help us a little bit in, uh, in how close we can get to the road overall. So.
excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, don't have COVID, pretty sure don't have COVID. So, um, I got something, I'm trying something new here, something I never tried before, but uh, it's kind of unusual, but it's an unusual situation. Uh, let me wipe this lens off. There, that might be better. So, I thought I'd show it to you. What we got here is, this is uh, I believe a red oak, young red oak here. And then we got what I presume to be another Norway maple. Uh, just like that first one was, right? Right there. So, Norway maples are not good for hinge wood. Uh, they're pretty, pretty brittle. So, this thing's got a lot of lean this way. And if you look just on the other side of where we're felling these trees here, we have some nice blueberry bushes right over here that we absolutely can't hit. And so, uh, consequently, I really don't feel like I can depend on the hinge wood of the Norway maple to reliably keep it out of those blueberries because those blueberries are right over here and it's leaning pretty hard that way. Uh, and phototropism causes it to put all of its limbs on this side. You know, everything, everything is everything is that way. You know, everything. There's nothing that's that way. So, uh, red oak on the other hand has great hinge wood. And uh, it's standing pretty fair. It's got a little more limb weight, you know, in the undesirable direction. But uh, we've got plenty of room to tip it over. And I'd like to land it right about where its shadow lays right now. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cripple the Norway maple and uh, get a, uh, crippled the red oak as well. And I've got them tied together. Where is that rope? I can't see it on the camera. It's up in there somewhere. I hope you can see it. But anyhow, got them tied together. And uh, I'm hoping to use the reliability of the red oak hingewood to bring the Norway maple down where it's where it, uh, where it needs to go a little more reliably. So I'll uh, I'll put you guys up here somewhere close. Ooh, maybe, maybe I will stick you right on the tree. And we can both see. It'll be interesting to see how much this you know, the red oak actually helps the, uh, the maple here. So I'm gonna make a little spot to stick the camera and we'll, uh, we'll put you on the tree. There's a little airplane right there. Ah, perfect. Okay, so here's our rope. Re general direction of desired fall is something like this. So, uh, Hopefully we don't squish the camera and hopefully this turns out for some nice footage. I think it will. It worked out great. I'm eager to see what that looked like. I guess I'll get to see uh, in the edit, but yeah. Looks like we missed the blueberries by just enough. Let's see over here. Yeah, sure enough. Just perfect. For whatever reason, the, that maple did not want a bore cut correctly. I mean, I got a nice new chain on there. I can't remember if I've hit the rakers yet or not, but it was not having it. So that complicated things a little bit, but, and for whatever reason, I went to release of Oak and it didn't, it started to go and then it stopped. That's kind of odd. I'll be interested to see that too, but, um, it worked out pretty good. I'll show you the stumps here. So 
decent hinge, pre plenty fat for what it was on the oak, and uh, less than desirable on the on a Norway stump. But I've never seen a des desirable desirable Norway maple hinge personally. They're not. They're just not desirable. Whatever. Um, but it looks like this might be a pin oak rather than red oak. I don't know. I'm colorblind. I can't even see what color wood that is. But it looks more pin oaky to me than red oak. So. Uh, anyhow, we'll hook the rope on them. Maybe we'll even drag these over together. That would be super cool. We'll see if the... I'm sure the truck will do it. Just have to give it a try. So we got up here to our to our block. Uh, you rode along for that experience, but we're still again we're still too far well farther than I want to go from the street. I think we can get a little bit closer because there's just a lot of ground to cover if I'm going to drag all that by hand. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this rope. And I'm going to tie it on somewhere up here and see if we can't get this tree a little bit farther, uh, a little bit closer to the street. Um, I'll have to keep a good eye on it in the mirror because. I do not want to skin up this nice, nice pin oak here. It's a beautiful tree. We want to keep it nice. We're getting, you know, it's early March. You know, oak wilt pruning season is about over. I mean, not that there would ever be a reason to allow, you know, something to get marked up on a nice tree like that, but it's definitely not good now because dangerous times are upon us. All right, alrighty, this is how close we end up getting the tree to the chipper. That is uh, about perfect in my mind, just enough room to turn branches around and uh, toss them in the machine. So we'll back the truck up and we'll get chipping. that's a wrap just gotta rake up and uh put all the tools in the truck and head home so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video